what do you think HR leaders need to be thinking about next in the sort of next uh, 12 to 24 months? And what's your biggest concern and, and what do you see as the biggest opportunity? Yeah, so this is my view. I still think that the shift around future of work that the beginning of the pandemic created is still going through a lot of norming and storming where we haven't seen organizations adapt to a so-called operating rhythm or predictability around how to figure that out. And that central theme is driving a lot of other aspects that we are seeing happening. We are seeing how organizations and the HR function have had to get into a little bit of a reactive mode on, okay, how do we think about recruiting talent, right? What does it mean to our recruiting? You know, is it a, is it a pool where everybody can work remotely? How does, how do we continue to offer the right level of insight and consulting to business leaders who may have their own perceptions on, on what the future of work looks like versus managers versus employees? So from my perspective, I think it still is a top of mind agenda item because so many of the HR programs have had to go through a rapid shift and probably will continue to get recalibrated, readjusted. Uh, I mean, you talk about a headline story of inflation where everybody thought that, hey, what's going to happen to compensation now, right? How do we think about compensation in, in a market like that? And I truly believe, David, like 10 years out, 15 years out, whoever is going to write the bestseller on this or is going to do a look back. I think this moment in time is going to draw a bit of a separation from organizations who were able to continue to learn and adapt and pivot their HR practices and how they navigated this versus organizations who did not and they may have seen greater disruption. So I, I think that should be top of mind. When I think about the concern, what, what it presents as a challenge to the HR function is Everything that we just discussed has also been happening to the HR function. So the HR professionals have also been dealing with significant amount of change. There has been attrition, there has been concerns around how do we do work-life balance. And the challenge for HR leadership is how do we create a better HR function, a smarter HR function, more career development and retention for the HR function while we are also trying to figure that out for the rest of the business. Um, it's, 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 and there is no script for this. There is no precedent for this. We are all sort of learning on the go over here. So I, I do think that that is a big challenge in front of uh, many HR leaders. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe by your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.